if a poem hasn't ripped apart your soul, you haven't experienced poetry. Even for those to whom life and death are equal jests, there are some things that are still held in respect. Marking a book is literally an experience of your differences or agreements with the author. It is the highest respect you can pay him. It is impossible to say how first the idea entered my brain, but once conceived, it haunted me day and night. And so being young and dipped in folly, I fell in love with melancholy. There is no passion in nature so demonically impatient as that of him who, shuddering upon the edge of a precipice, thus meditates a plunge. As a poet and as a mathematician, he would reason well. As a mere mathematician, he could not have reasoned at all. Who has not, a hundred times, found himself committing a vile or a silly action for no other reason than because he knows he should not? And have I not told you that what you mistake for madness is but over-acuteness of the sense? You will observe that the stories told are all about money seekers not about money finders. That man is not truly brave who is afraid either to seem or to be when it suits him, a coward. The pioneers and missionaries of religion have been the real cause of more trouble and war than all other classes of mankind. Music, when combined with a pleasurable idea, is poetry. Music, without the idea, is simply music. The idea, without the music, is prose, from its very definitiveness. If we cannot comprehend God in His visible works, how then in His inconceivable thoughts that call the works into being. It would be mockery to call such dreariness heaven at all. Mysteries force a man to think, and so injure his health. The scariest monsters are the ones that lurk within our souls. The idea of God infinity, or spirit, stands for the possible attempt at an impossible conception. There is an eloquence in true enthusiasm. When a madman appears thoroughly sane, indeed, it is high time to put him in a straitjacket. Imperceptibly, the love of these discords grew upon me as my love of music grew stronger. The eye, like a shattered mirror, multiplies the images of sorrow. The depth lies in the valleys where we seek her and not upon the mountaintops where she is found. If they say bad things about you, then they just envy you. Loneliness in old age often means a deterioration in relationship with the remaining relatives and friends as the elderly person begins to demand constant attention from them. The best cure for loneliness in old age is a pet. <laughs> 